So this is Bernoulli spiral, and the position vector is given by by this. So the position vector tells us the uh, the location as time goes on. So it gives us this vector as time goes on. And uh, our job is to find find the arc length parameterization of R of t. So what that means is um, your your job is to come up with a, a, a machine where you input the the um, the arc length where you input the arc length s and it will tell you the location so that's that's what this thing here is saying it's saying you let's say let's say you, put, you give a distance of let's say eight and let's say eight is here so when it when it does a so when you when you feed eight into the machine it will spit out the location it will spit out this vector here so that's what it's that's what this is really asking you um create a a, um, a vector function in such a way that when you when you feed it the arc length, it will it will feed you the vector, the position vector. So that's that's what it's asking you. So let's let's start now. So remember from some of the early videos, we started out with arc length equals this. And remember back in uh, back in high school, you're given a box here. If this is x, y, and z, the longest distance is given by square root a squared plus b squared plus uh, sorry, uh, square root x squared plus y squared plus z squared, and that that will give you the longest length. Well, this thing here, you can think of it as being the magnitude of the uh, velocity vector. So this is your your velocity in the x direction. This is your velocity in the y direction, z direction. So the longest length is really the magnitude of your velocity vector. So rather than using this whole thing here, because it takes ages to write. This each time, so we would we would just spend all our time figuring out this value here, and then right at the end, then we integrate. Well, then we integrate this thing here. So 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 rather than rather than having to write this whole thing every single time, we would concentrate on working out this value here. Well, this magnitude of the velocity is this thing here, but it's just it's a lot shorter, it's a lot quicker to write, and it's a lot neater. So we are going to write, we are going to use this, and then right at the end, we will integrate it. So the, uh, the, the arc length, the arc length is given by this thing here. So we would integrate it with respect to u. So hang on. So let's start from the very beginning. So I will continue in the next video. We, we are currently here. Okay.